Chipping is when you want to get the ball over the long grass, onto the green, rolling to the hole. Minimum air time, maximum roll time. The first thing you want to know is when to chip. Right here we have uh, the longer grass, the first cut, um, that is a little unpredictable. We could putt it, but I'd be better off chipping. You want to get the uh, proper chip so that you'll have a safe putt. Now we're going to get into the technique of chipping. It's, mo it's more like putting than it is pitching or the regular golf swing. You want to set your weight on your left side, a little forward press with your hands, play the ball back in your stance, and it's more like a putting stroke where it's mostly shoulders. You don't want to use your lower body. Pick out that target. Shoulders. Stroke it at the hole. The next is what club to choose. This is very important because we want to make the same stroke over and over. Rather than changing how we hit the ball, we change our clubs. We're about a foot or two from the green with about 12 feet to the pin. And it's set up just like we did earlier. I've got my seven iron. This is gonna promote uh, just to pop it over the, sh the long grass, get it rolling to the hole. Now, I take a step back about two feet with, um, and I'm gonna use my nine iron. Exact same stroke. I'm gonna pop it onto the green. Get it rolling to the hole. We drop back another two feet. I've got now about six feet to the uh, green and about 12 feet to the hole. Got my 54 degree wedge. Again, it's the exact same stroke. Just pop it up, get it on the green, roll into the hole. Now the last one, I'm about equal distance to the green and to the pin. I'm going to use my 60 degree uh, sand wedge. I'm going to add a little more loft and get it up on the green, roll into the hole. Same stroke. You let the club do the work and you're going to be a much better chipper.